Um, I've had recurrent sinusitis for probably off and on almost 10 years. I'm somebody who used to get um, five and six sinus infections a year. I started seeing Dr. Friedman in 2007 and my CT scan showed that I had a deviated septum, but I also had um, polyps, which are just kind of, I don't even know how I would describe them. They're just kind of fluid filled sacs that hang out in each of your sinuses and they obstruct your drainage, they obstruct your breathing, and they're usually in response to an allergy or some kind of environmental thing. And I started seeing him for those and have had two surgeries um, where I had to go into the OR and be intubated and receive anesthesia to have those removed. And um, because of different things I was exposed to, mainly black mold, I um, had a recurrence of those about, I'd say nine months after a procedure to have them removed. So we were trying to um, kind of find another way to get rid of them without putting me through the torture of surgery. The new concept is that if I could place the balloon with the appropriate medication directly in the sinus in a relatively simple office procedure, the patient could avoid a trip to the operating room. And that's exactly what we did with Haley. The uh, balloon placement uh, is uh, comparable to a dental procedure. It requires a little bit of local anesthesia, but otherwise it's completely safe and simple. Uh, it takes only minutes. I didn't lose any time off work. I didn't have to plan around this. I was able just to come in like it was a regular appointment. Within 30 minutes, I was in and out. Um, no lab work before surgery, no recovery time. And like I said, despite, you know, mild, mild headache, but I didn't even know that these little balloons were there. Haley's uh, around uh, two months now since her procedure and her sinus looks perfect. She feels great. Her symptoms are completely resolved. Now, will this last forever? I doubt it. And it's very possible that I might have to replace the balloon. But now that we know we can do this in a simple office procedure, I think it'll make life a lot easier.